Too much is never enough. And with RAM, that statement has never been more true. Today's programs are more memory hungry than ever. Plus, it's generally accepted that adding RAM is the least expensive and best way to speed up your PC right now. But first, you're going to need the right type of RAM. And depending on your computer, you're going to need different sticks of RAM, and this is what I've got in my hand. It's wise to check with your PC's manuals or your motherboard's manuals, and we'll be looking at a motherboard here in a second. For the most part, they'll look the same, but you want to make sure you get the right type. Head over to Kingston.com or Crucial.com if you know the make and model of your computer, most importantly. Uh, we've got the details on our website regarding uh, the types of RAM that you want to get and the differences between all the different types and maybe even which one is right for you. This happens to be something they call SD RAM. It's pretty common, but as I said before, most RAM looks the same. That's why it's important to get the right one for your type of machine. So you've chosen the right RAM. Now we're going to look inside the case. We need to first disconnect all the cables from everything, if it's from the front or the back, most importantly, the power cable. That's probably the most important one. But you've got to be careful when you open up uh, the power cable. And I'll get to that in a second. So once we've disconnected the cables, then we're going to open up the PC's case. You might need a screwdriver here, but newer machines uh, are actually more intuitive, where you don't even need any type of tools to remove the side of the case just slides right off. Now, as I said, you got to be careful with the power because you still got a little bit of static electricity building up, so you want to ground yourself. You can do this real easily by touching the outside of your case because, see, it's metal, so it's grounding you. If you do it often enough, you might want to pick up a grounding strip. It's actually a little safer to use. You don't want to mess with anything inside again until you are grounded. So I was talking about the motherboard. That's the thing upon which or in which this little thing is going to slide into, this uh, stick of memory. The motherboard sits at the bottom of the case usually uh, and in here you've got all of the PC's components like your sound card, your video card, your processor and all these cables and see your drive cables and power cables over here but we're not going to pay attention to that stuff right now. It's kind of like a puzzle if you will. You can only put this memory stick into one particular area of your machine and that happens to be right here and actually we've got a couple of sticks of RAM already in here. Now, with this type of RAM, you'll notice that it's keyed, so I can only really stick it in one way. And let me make sure I'm lined up there, because there are a couple of little nubs right there. Now, this one, I, uh, also, uh, older sticks of RAM, you actually had to put in at a 45-degree angle, so you want to make sure you're doing it the right way. In this case, I'm going to drop it straight in. I'm going to make sure it's lined up. And now, with just a quick push down, as long as I'm lined up, it'll snap into place, and you'll hear it click. And then you notice the sides, the little protectors here on the sides, uh, they, they've automatically closed in to make sure that RAM's not going anywhere. I always like to push down very gently. You know, if it's not wanting to go in, do not force it to go in because it may be even, even the wrong type of RAM. And once that's done, that's, that's really all you need to do with the hardware side of things. Uh, you'll connect everything back uh, up to the back of the computer. You fire up the machine, and it should automatically recognize how much RAM you have without having to mess with any settings. So we would then double-check it in Windows. Let me move over to my Windows machine here. We'll right-click on my computer. And by the way, the machine that we have running here, this Windows, is, is not the one that we just put the RAM into. Couldn't, couldn't reboot it that quickly yet. And you notice here, it'll tell you, right underneath the computer section, it'll tell you what kind of processor, how fast it's going. That's about one gigahertz there. And then how much RAM we have installed. Now, this was kind of technical, but if you missed anything, be sure to head to our website for detailed instructions. That address is techtv.com slash call for help.